the card for round one. Not actual blood. Couple jabs to get in there soft. He's soft with that left hand. Everybody's wondering if Ali will go into the rope of that business as he did in previous fights with Foreman, Wetner, and Lyle. You'll notice the fight will lean back from punches. He's got a very good jab. Ali has a good left hook. You know Ali's style, he can change it at a moment's notice. If there's one deficiency in Budner's makeup, I'm told he is not a hard hitter. This is a different alley than in his last couple of fights. They fought once before, Alley winning a 12-round decision in Las Vegas. It's rather a small referee for such big men. About half a minute to go in the round. Sharp punching by the champions. Bugner, a well-schooled fighter. Now he's working the body now. And there's a lot of body on Bugner. There's the foul. Looks like he's basing himself, but in this particular round, he can get off whatever he want to get off. I can see him throwing shots wherever he want to, jab. You're talking about Bugner? That's right. Bugner throwing jabs, hit play with jab anytime he want to. But therefore, I would say I'll put my man in the lead of this round. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, disdaining sitting down. Either one of them sat down. Here's the bell for round two. Bugner fights up right. Ali's gone into his dance now. Bugner said he would let Ali do most of the work. Bugner has been down three times in his career. Ali has been down four times, but Bugner was stopped once in his first bout. Doing what he wants to do, but it's a question if he can keep dancing that way over a long journey. That could prove a problem. Trying to bring the guard down. Those punches were partially blocked. Bugner got fast hands. He watch what he's doing. I hope that my man will watch out for that right hand foul because he just faces himself now. That's what Bugner is doing. Ray Robinson was winning the uh, light heavyweight title from Jerry Maxson with 106 degrees in the world under the ring lights, and Ray just bounced himself out of the picture. Could Muhammad Ali do that? Well, he needed to slow down. No sense in because Bugs is not moving that fast. All right, round three now. Muhammad Ali is starting to put more power in his punches. It is scheduled for 15 rounds in Rodeca Stadium, Kuala Lumpur. Motion Valley to come in and fight, and that was the wrong thing to do. He did. Takeo Yugo is going to have a time, and this fight goes a long way. He's going to be a time. <laughs> At this point, I'd have to say Bugner is proving very troublesome. Less than a minute to go. 
Nice shot so far by Ali. Ali expending a lot of energy. Bugner smiles after taking those jabs. There's the bell ending round three. After the beautiful girl with the card proceeds around the ring, we'll take a look at the flurry. Here it is. Everybody back to on the road, right hand. Left hand, then again, right hand. Good one, two, three. Right. That's round four, and Ali is out there in a hurry. It's a fast fight as far as the theater is concerned, but not, not too many punches being thrown. There's the rope to go. Good thing for Riley, he missed us. A couple of good shots by the staff. Bugner motioning Alley in after Alley. Oh, back on the rope. And then he doesn't up himself up. He should be ready to attack. You know, if you're going to call a man back on the rope, call him back in. Then be ready to attack with punches. Don't call him and do nothing. Round five. It's 15 rounds. For the heavyweight championship. Wagner has shown a good jab, but he hasn't shown any right hand yet. can lean back from a punch pretty well. Ali coming in like he's doing road work. about them later. Let's really take a look at this flurry by Ali. See that good right that got through the guard? Oh, you talk about mistakes. What mistakes did you see? His hands down the body wide open. I would say his hands down the body wide open. And he's coming in too fast. All right, it's round six now. And for all of them for the heavyweight championship of the world. Ali seems to be perspiring a lot more than the Briton. any question about Ali's condition, he's got it.
Butler's being pretty cautious now. to watch Muhammad Ali's elbows. There's the bell. Ali seems in good shape. But uh, Buckner has lost seven rounds in a row in my unofficial calculations. Again, Andy Smith, the corner man, the button that complains about elbows. Apparently, the referee who speaks no English doesn't know what he's talking about. The rounds are taking on a sameness. Button looked over to his corner, left himself open for a moment, but apparently Ali didn't realize. Challenger. That was a good right for the Nice breeze there now, pulling off the 90 plus degree temperature. question. Now we saw Foreman KO'd by Ali after having Ali on the rope for seven rounds. What would you have done that Foreman didn't do? I would stay close, cover up, and watch myself and don't fight myself out. That's what I would do. All right, Joe. Round nine. That's 15 rounder. <laughs> Ali smart enough when he couldn't get through the gloves, he went around them. Went out of 
Robert Bugner is not the least bit hurt, not the least bit tired. Apparently, he's just not winning. Allie getting a big hand from the crowd as he puts on the usual show in his car. And I must reiterate that despite the 90 degree plus heat and the high humidity, neither man has sat down once. We are now in round 10 of a 15 rounder. They didn't put down last round. That punch rocked him. Wagner really opening up here. That's right. Our left hand, right hook, right hand, left hook. He's going. He got in a couple of good body shots too, Joe. He got a nice breeze. Well, I think Ali takes a good punch to the uh, shot to the body. I think he takes it well. What do you think? He takes a good shot all around. Coming up to round 11. In the Decca Stadium, Kuala Lumpur. so far that we can see. Stay on the road. He got the man out in front of him. His arm just as long as his arm right on. He throw his jab and use his right hand. And Bugner's about an inch, an inch and a half taller. Almost six five. He's got them going his own way. He cut him off. And got him back to the Bugner comes in menacingly. And scores well. Yeah. 
giving it to Rocha. All right, coming up to round 13. Many a heavyweight championship fight has ended in the 13th round. Marciano Walcott, Lewis Kahn, for instance. Very often, uh, British fighters, because of their fair skin and their yeah. face, There have been no knockdowns, of course. Look in the replay here. It's all Ali in this round. Instead of bugging a hole in him, he should have been getting down, getting under the shot, and working the body. Why well, put his hands up? Well, he's fighting a good champion. There's no question about that, Joe. Ali is a good champion. Boy, that scene just there. Joe, he's one of the greatest. Well done, that's your opinion. <laughs> well, you're one of the greatest, too, Joe. Well, he's a good fighter. changing styles. Maybe not. Fine hook by Tugman. Not awed by it, he fights back. Maybe not enough, but he does fight back. That's all right. You get it. You will get it. Yeah. Joe Fucking Ali who you comes over to it. talk to him. You will get it. <laughs> He's not worried. Angelo Dundee getting him back to his corner. This is the 15th and final round. It has come the distance, at least up to now, just three minutes of action left. Start to have an interview with the winner and maybe with the loser if we can get him.
the Pepler Shuffle. of the world and Merdeka Stadium in Kuala Lumpur. Ali wants a uh, little warm. He's throwing his club. Some of the friendly folks, both from uh, Kuala Lumpur. The clips were collected after every round, and we cannot interview anybody until we find out the decision. Mr. And Allen. gentlemen, in the heavyweight title fight here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, between challenger Joe Bertner and champion Muhammad Ali, the decision made by the judges and the referee, unanimous decision for Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. We don't get an interview, he just took Every off. Boxer of the world! I'm trying to get Joe Muhammad Buckner. Muhammad Ali! Ali disappeared. Joe? Andy? Joe, uh, what do you think about the fight? Well, <clears throat> I thought Muhammad did great to win. But uh, I, I haven't got the punch anymore to do any real serious damage to big heavyweights.